How's it going everybody? It's Coach Diego and today we are talking about different terms you're going to need to know when you're in the gym. Now when you first start these workouts there's going to be all kinds of different movements that we're throwing at you or different terms to use and it can sometimes be a little bit difficult keeping them all separate. So today we're going to talk about a few fundamental terms that you are definitely going to want to remember when doing these workouts. So the first term is WOD, W-O-D, and that stands for workout of the day. Now this can be used to describe the entire workout for the day, or it can be used to describe pieces of the workout. So for instance, I could say that today's WOD has a strength portion and a conditioning portion, or I can split it up and I can say your strength WOD comes before your conditioning WOD. The second term you're gonna to need to know is AMRAP, A-M-R-A-P. And that stands for as many rounds or reps as possible. This is a particular style of workout, which we give you a certain time frame, and then we see how much work you can do within that specific time. For example, if we were doing a five minute push-up AMRAP, that means that for five minutes you are doing as many reps as possible to get a total number of push-ups by the end of that five minutes. And that total number of push-ups would be your score for the day. The next term is for time. You can think of this one as completing something as fast as possible. For example, if I said that today's workout is one mile for time, however long it takes you to run that mile, would be your score. Or another example could be 100 pull-ups for time. The second you've completed that last pull-up, the time on the clock would be your score. Now the last term that we're gonna talk about is called an EMOM. E-M-O-M. And that stands for every minute on the minute. So for this example, let's say that we're doing a 10 minute EMOM of five burpees. That means at the beginning of minute one, you would do five burpees. And any time that remains within that first minute, you can rest. At the beginning of minute two, you do another five burpees, using any remaining time in that second minute to rest. And you would continue this through until you've done 10 minutes of work at the beginning of each minute with some rest at the end of that minute. Now I know that this video doesn't clear up all of the weird sayings and terms that we use here in the gym, but hopefully it did help a little bit. And if you're ever unclear on what something means on the whiteboard or what a certain movement is, please feel free to ask any of the coaches. We really are here to help. So once again, I'm Coach Diego and we'll see you around the gym. Thanks for watching everybody. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment below if you'd like to, and hit the bell notification. That way you'll know when I put out another video.